Let's say you have this AL1100 uh, connected to the touchscreen, uh, resist the touchscreen, but the firmware can't communicate with AL1100. Um, check the connection, and it won't work with any of my Microsoft stuff. So you can use a Windows driver, which is this one. It's made by Microsoft as well. And this utility gives you the same stuff that you had in other pieces of software, but it's all now in the Windows driver. So you look at the device manager, it's now called this microchip, that. And any changes you make, any calibration will be stored in this Windows driver, not on the firmware itself, because the firmware is now bricked. So if you want to calibrate this, let's say to this screen, we are going to put this on the screen itself. On the screen itself. And if we're going to go here to the top part, and it says handling bottom left of the screen, which is true. This is the bottom left of the screen. And the way I got here is I, rather than go for all the monitors, I just click custom. So, wrong one. I click other. And a lot of choices, but I click bottom left. And it worked. And then let's calibrate. So let's calibrate the screen. Okay, so this calibration is now in the Windows driver. And if we go to this paint utility here, yeah. sketch pad, and let's make a new one. Straight out. And there you go, it works. There we are, let's get to the corners. That's what's the most important. So we seem to hit this point, there might be a limit in the calibration. You can give it a certain amount of pixels rather than bottom left. Actually that is that seems to be a screen border thing. So yeah, there's a border in the screen. Oops. I press something. Anyway, it works, it's calibrated. Great for you as an interface. It's this screen size running on Windows. If you need the driver for another thing, like Android, you need to install other firmware. And what Adafruit is suggesting is to send it back to them. Which can be inconvenient. Anyway, there you go, it works. If you want to make it work with Windows, and the firmware is bricked.